welcome to Sheep Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I am here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. We've had some viewer questions about different aspects of pouring. We're here to explain a little bit about the technicalities of pouring. So if you haven't watched the eight bazillion videos that are out there of artists pouring acrylic, um, we are here to contribute one more to the stack. I myself am not like an ardent pouring person and I have a specific way that I kind of like doing it. Um, one is that I'm not a big fan of like the big, you know, huge canvas just like blasted full of color. It feels to me as an artist that you need a little bit of some place for your eye to rest. Um, so I do a, what's called a flood of titanium white mixture on the surface before I start. So you'll see here with these two examples about how that kind of works. And, and like this one, I got a little crazy and was experimenting with the thicknesses and doing almost making like paint dams where I was allowing the color to go into some areas and not going go into others and stuff like that. Now, the way I generally work is what's called a clean or a neat pour, which means that I'm not mixing all the colors together. I'm letting them behave on the surface the way that they're gonna do. So I pour each color individually and kind of purposefully place them where I think that they should go. The opposite, however, is where our viewer question came from, which was called a dirty pour. And all that really means, I mean, it sounds like it's bad, but it's not. All that really means is that the colors that the artist has chosen to use are all mixed up into their specific consistencies. And so we have, I have a mixture of golden and, you know, Cheap Joe's Prime and a whole bunch of other stuff in here. But I've mixed them with a little bit of GAC 900, which is Golden Acrylic Compound 900, as a fluid medium to get them into this fluid state. So all the different colors are mixed up individually. And what we will do is combine them into a single cup right before we pour them. Now, you're not gonna swirl them together into a big gray mass. You're gonna let them kind of float in this cup and then put them on there. Now, the first thing that I do is I mix up a big batch of titanium white in a fluid state. And I actually find that I got myself this like little teeny silicone kitchen whisk. And I like using it for mixing up colors because it reduces the amount of bubbles. Now, a lot of pouring experts will tell you that you mix up your colors ahead of time and then you give them like at least 12 hours to rest so that all the bubbles fall out of them. Um, uh, well, that involves prep. I'm not into that. And so I find that using this whisk and stir, you know, stirring them slowly reduces the amount of bubbles. So that's my handy little tool um, that I got at the uh, kitchen store. But let me show you, we're gonna do this titanium flood right now. And I've got my little handy Rubbermaid lid here as my catch. Got a Cheap Joe's wood panel here that I like to use. It is unprimed because kind of don't need it. We're gonna go crazy with the color here. And we are letting this color go all over the surface. And we don't have to take it all the way to the edges right now. I mean, because when we add more color, it's gonna push this off to the side. So we're gonna add just a little bit more, get a little bit soupy. I don't care. You can see you got nice coverage. We do have a bunch of bubbles. We have some bubbles, but it is fine all right so done with our titanium flood all right now what we're going to do is what we're going to call what's called a dirty pour so here is my big cup here i'm going to pour a little bit of spring green in here got a little bit of interference blue this one's got a lump in it hold on pause for mixing here. All right, a little bit of interference blue, a little bit of gold, a little bit of 
This is an interference gold. And then anthroquinone. Oh, I love that color. Woo! All right, now, don't swirl it around, folks. Turn into soup. But what we are going to do is what's called a flip cup, which is where you just flip it over and let it go. So, I'll get it on there. Went outside the margins a little bit, but that is okay. And as you can see, the colors are going to mix as they may on the surface and go where they're going to go. Now, here's the fun part where you cheat a little bit. As we will grab a little titanium here and fill in this corner so it runs in. And then maybe we tip it a little bit here or there. But I kind of like where that's going, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. Just push a little bit of this titanium to the edge. So now you know a little bit more about pouring and flip cups and dirty pours and clean pours and all that kind of stuff. And if you have any other questions, please let us know. We'll be glad to show you live here on Two Minute Art Tips. And we hope that you enjoy.